What about a 30 second warning? Starting about 30 seconds. Now I'll look across. Everybody give me thumbs up if everybody's ready. What is your name? All right, good afternoon. I'm Don Aaron with the Nashville Police Department. We want to give you a brief update this afternoon as to what we know about the Covenant murders on yesterday. There's one rumor going on throughout the community that we want to take a moment to clear up. There are those who think that specific individuals were targeted by the shooter who entered the building on Monday. We have no evidence that individuals were specifically targeted. This school, this church building, was a target of the shooter, but we have no information at present to indicate that the shooter was specifically targeting any one of the six individuals who were murdered. Chief John Drake will now update you on the progress of the investigation overnight and this morning, including what we know about the individual's purchases of firearms over the past couple of years. Again, this will be a brief briefing today. Chief John Drake. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you again for being here. Just a brief update of what we know right now. Uh, we've interviewed the parents of uh, Audrey Hale, and we've determined uh, that Audrey bought seven firearms uh, from five different uh, local gun stores here legally. Uh, they were legally purchased. Uh, three of those weapons were used yesterday uh, during this horrific tragedy uh, that happened. We know uh, that uh, they felt that she had one weapon uh, and that she sold it. She was under care, doctor's care, for an emotional disorder. Uh, law enforcement knew nothing about the treatment she was receiving, but her parents felt that she uh, should not own weapons. They were under the impression that was when she sold the one weapon that she did not own anymore. As it turned out, she had been hiding uh, several weapons uh, within the house. We also don't have a motive uh, at this time. Uh, we feel that uh, the students that were targeted were randomly targeted. There was not any particular uh, student uh, that they were, uh, that she was looking for at the time of the incident. And uh, that's what we know as I speak, and uh, we'll take any questions Chief, that you have. What was in the manifesto? What was in the manifesto? So in the manifesto, there's several different writings about other locations. Uh, there were locations, of, uh, there was, uh, talks about um, the school. There was a map of the school, a drawing of how uh, potentially she would enter and the assaults that would take place. Uh, there's, it's quite a bit of uh, writing to it. I have not read the whole the entire manifesto. Our team and the FBI has been working uh, on this. Chief, can you clarify where exactly the victims were located? You mentioned the common area, but were they all together, the students and the adults at the same time? Where were they? So they were spread out in different locations. When I went into the actual church, uh, the kids had already been transported to the hospital. Also, uh, the two of the adults, I did see the head uh, school uh, person, and uh, she was uh, in the hallway uh, by the office. That's the only one. They were spread out. wasn't in one common area but they were spread out. Chief, Chief did the Drake, can you talk about the response in terms of targeting other buildings, other places? There were some writings in the manifesto about other locations, but as far as it being an actual target, uh, I can't confirm that at this time. Chief, can we talk about your body cam footage? Do you feel like your officers did everything please. right? One at a time, please. Sorry. Okay. Chief, Chief Walker with CNN, just about the, the six victims who were killed. Uh, where exactly were they? Um, you know, were they walking through the hallways when this happened? And I also um, heard peripherally that uh, perhaps the, the head of the school may have ran towards the, um, the gun or the shooter. It's very possible the head of the school could have done that. I can't confirm that one way or the other. I do know she was in the hallway by herself. Uh, there was a confrontation, I'm sure, 
Uh, you can tell the way she was laying in the hallway. Uh, there was the custodian, the African American, as she shot through uh, the door to enter. Uh, she sprayed rounds through the glass, uh, striking him. You could see uh, where where he came to rest. As far as the others, they were just spread out in different locations. I, I can't say it was a confrontation, but they were met. She met the head person in the hallway. This man right here. Yeah. Thank you. Chief, you mentioned the guns, the multiple guns, and that the shooter was under the care of a doctor. Is there any law in this state that would have allowed police to take those guns away from this person had it been reported? If it had been reported, there's not a law for that, but had it been reported that she was suicidal or that she was going to kill someone and had been made known to us, then we would have tried to uh, to get those weapons. But as it stands, we had absolutely uh, no idea uh, actually who this person was or she even existed. So can you talk a little bit about the time? What else did the parents say? Did they expect anything like this to happen? So we know uh, yesterday the uh, uh, Miss Hale was leaving out of the uh, residence. Uh, she had a red bag. Uh, they asked her uh, what was in the red bag and I think she just dismissed it because it was a, a motherly thing and I didn't look in the back because at the time she didn't know that uh, her daughter had any weapons and didn't think any uh, differently. Um, again, they lost a child, uh, so it was very uh, traumatic uh, for them. So. Chief, what's in the body cam? I think you were first. Yeah. So. Uh, could you talk about the police response? I know they engaged the shooter pretty quickly once they got to the school, but can you talk about the events that led up from when they got the call, what time did they arrive at the school, and could you talk about that 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 time? Because it seems here about maybe like 14 minutes or so. Yeah, so they got the call at 10:13, and by 10:24 they had engaged uh, the suspect. Uh, as they arrived on the property, uh, there were police cars been hit by gunfire. Uh, the suspect was in an upper uh, level. Uh, we believe there's been some training of being able to shoot from a higher level and her gunfire, uh, from the video I've seen, she stood away from the glass so she wouldn't be an easy target to be uh, shot. Uh, but as officers were uh, approaching uh, the building, there was gunfire going on. They went in, they went through um, door by door as we clear uh, buildings. They heard gunfire uh, and immediately ran to that and, uh, and then took care of uh, the this horrible situation. And how long did it take officers to actually get to the school initially from when the first call came in? From the time it went out from 1013 to 1024, it was over. The exact time, arrival time, I'm not sure. I know that myself, I ran emergency, and as I got there, uh, they were coming out bloody and all kind of things were happening. So I barely missed being able or, or being there to go in as well. So it was really quick, the response. Uh, and I think you were next. So. Yeah, uh, Chief, I was just going to ask you about the two officers whose body cam we've seen this morning. Uh, had they ever been faced in a situation like that before? To my knowledge, I do not remember if, if those two in particular have been in that situation. Officer Colazzo uh, has worked as a paramedic with uh, the SWAT team, so I'm sure he's had some type of uh, weapons training. Um, I was really impressed that with all that was going on, the danger that somebody took control and said, let's go, let's go, let's go, and went in and took care uh, and just tried to end this uh, situation. Uh, but as far as being in this before, I'm unsure. You, sir? Uh, sir, a friend of the family's report, a friend of the Hale family's reported you said that Audrey was autistic. Can you speak to that if you know if that's in fact true? I, I can't confirm that. Uh, I've heard that, but I, I can't confirm if that's true or not. Let's do one more question. One more question, and we're going to stop. One more. Just on the officers, how are they faring today? Um, Twenty-four hours. Do you have any uh, indication of the significance of yesterday? Why the shooter uh, may have done this yesterday? And also, do you have um, anything that could indicate whether the shooter was targeted for religious reasons? Have I can't confirm either. Uh, I'm not sure uh, if that. We're approaching a uh, holy period at Easter and all of that. I, I can't confirm any of that. Do not know. Um, and, and so why she targeted that particular church, we do know she was a student at that, uh, at that church at one point, uh, but unsure right now if that was the reason why. And I think you, I'll take one more. Yeah, just on your, on your two officers there, how are they feeling today, 24 hours on? 
So I, I, I talked to them uh, earlier, um, and they're um, trying to decompress, uh, trying to make sense of all of this. Um, I talked to uh, President Biden. Uh, he's going to reach out and talk to them as well. Um, they're just trying to do whatever they can with their families and just kind of remove themselves uh, from all of this. So. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Chief Drake, would you say the 14-minute response time to, from uh, getting the call to arriving to the school, is that acceptable? Is that something you want to look back at and see if that was, um, that there could be, have been a quicker response time? So I'll, I'll answer that. Uh, we, we, we evaluate each and every situation, and so part of one of my principles is we're always looking to be innovative and evolving to get better. And so we look at every single uh, incident we have, and if there's a way to get better, we feel a response right now. We, I, I, from the, what I've seen, I don't have a particular problem with it, but we always want to get better. We always want to get there in two or three minutes. And so there's a lot of things that could have happened. Traffic was locked down, et cetera. Uh, so, but we're always looking uh, to get better. What do you tell your kids, Chief? 